welcome students today we are going to learn about forest ecosystem so all of you know very well what is an ecosystem it is self maintained self sustained and self regulated system made up of abiotic and biotic components so what is forest ecosystem it is self maintained self sustained and self regulated system made up of abiotic and biotic component in which dominant species are trees so we also call forest ecosystem jungle that means dominant species are tall trees so in any forest ecosystem natural plant communities are dominated by the presence of trees and other woody plants so we can very well identify that area forest so each forest ecosystem it consists of two basic components like any other ecosystem that is abiotic component and biotic component abiotic component is the non living component of any ecosystem so in case of forest ecosystem non living component or the abiotic component includes very rich soil very fertile soil because large amount of organic matter is available due to the presence of leaves from the forest trees so it means in forest ecosystem soil is very rich it is fertile it is rich in organic matter and rainfall altitude latitude they determine the type of vegetation then second component is biotic component or the living component it includes producers consumers decomposers so like typical ecosystem every ecosystem forest ecosystem also includes producers consumers and decomposers what are producers producers are the tall trees shrubs herbs climbers creepers grasses which can prepare their food themselves so it means producers are of vast variety in the forest ecosystem that means tall trees small trees medium size trees small plants climbers creepers grasses in the forest ecosystem they include flowering plants non flowering plants fruit bearing plants seedless plants and variety of algae and bryophytes also all this vast variety of the trees or the plants that is taken up by the consumers so what are consumers which consumes the plants as food the consumers they include the animals which can be herbivores or carnivores so herbivores are the animals which eat the green plants whereas the carnivores are the animals which eat the herbivores so animals includes various species of mammals birds reptiles amphibians and insects in the forest ecosystem and third important component of the living component is decomposers decomposers include different types of bacteria and fungi in the forest ecosystem so i hope so structure of the forest ecosystem is clear that each forest ecosystem is having a biotic and biotic component now how does forest ecosystem works or functions the forest ecosystem functions automatically due to its abiotic and biotic components so first of all producers or the green trees they prepare the food using simple inorganic compounds like carbon dioxide and water through the process of photosynthesis they prepare the food in the form of leaves fruits tubers etc these green plants fruits leaves roots they are eaten up by the herbivores that is plant eating animals as food the smaller animals are eaten up by the larger animals or the wild animals that is carnivores or the flesh eating animals as the food so 
both plants and the animals that is producers and consumers they undergo death and decay after completing their life cycle and this is decomposed by the action of bacteria and fungi it means dead bodies of both plants and animals are decomposed by the action of bacteria and fungi that is decomposers so it means decomposers they break down the dead bodies of plants and animals into simple molecules in the soil which are again taken up or absorbed by the trees and the forest ecosystem keeps on working automatically due to the presence of various components that is producers consumers and decomposers so this was about the structure and function of the ecosystem now what are the typical characteristic features of any forest ecosystem the main characteristic features of the forest ecosystem include that it is dominated by tree species or woody plants wild animals like tiger elephant lion they are dominant soil is very rich in organic matter and fertile due to the availability of leaves rainfall is optimum the presence of sufficient amount of sunlight allows the good growth of the forest ecosystem now let us discuss about the types of the forest in the india so all the forests they are not of same type they may vary they are different so forests are classified into different types based on the rainfall pattern or the climate nature of the soil and other factors so important types of the forest which are present in the india forest means forest ecosystem present in the india they include evergreen forest himalayan forest monsoon forest deciduous forest and the mangrove forest so let us discuss them one by one first of all we will start with evergreen forest from the name itself it is clear the forest which has trees with evergreen leaves so evergreen tropical forests are mainly found in the regions where rainfall is more than 200 cm the evergreen forest mainly include northeast india western ghats eastern himalaya so soil is very much fertile and rich in the organic matter it can support the tall trees multi layered vegetation means the vegetation or the trees arranged in different layers trees grow vigorously at the optimum temperature of 25 to 27 degrees celsius the sunlight is abundant so due to the favorable conditions there is dense growth of the trees especially the evergreen trees so we can see in the evergreen forest dominant types of the trees are rosewood ironwood thorn this multi story vegetation includes all types of the plants that is trees shrubs herbs climbers creepers so vast variety of the animals in is also there due to the availability of variety of the trees so variety of the animals like tiger le deer lion elephant leopard forest goat monkeys lemurs insects birds are available due to the presence of food available to them so creepers they are inviting the species like lizards and snakes because surface is covered and monkeys or the lemurs are present because there is vast variety of the fruit bearing trees so depending upon the availability of the food there is availability of the animals or the consumers second category is monsoon forest the monsoon forest includes regions where rainfall is in the range of 150 to 200 cm approximately most of the trees are deciduous means tree leaves can fall during the autumn it includes trees like sal teak mango sandalwood etc so such forests are mainly found in bihar up odisha madhya pradesh assam tamil nadu 
tall trees are dominant so we are having wild animals which can hide themselves in the tall trees like leopard jaguar deer elephant wild goats they are commonly found in the monsoon forest third category is himalayan forest in himalayan forest rainfall is in the range of 100 to 150 cm they are found mainly in the himalayan region from the kashmir to assam the broad leaved trees like oak alum poplar walnut etc are dominant species the coniferous trees like pinus silver fir deodar are also common the animals found in such forest are himalayan goat sheep bears squirrels rats monkeys lemurs etc mainly it is including the hilly regions so soil is very very rich in the mineral matter in such forests in semi arid forest the rainfall is less than 100 cm in this kind of the forest they are mainly found in bihar up punjab odisha and maharashtra the trees includes mainly bebul neem shisham jand karir etc so animals found are mainly black buck chinkara four horn deer lizard and tiger etc or some milk yielding animals then mangrove forest the mangrove forest is mainly in the delta regions or the near the sea regions they include mangrove trees with aerial roots that can grow in the muddy areas the animals like crocodiles marine birds fishes crabs and prawns are present so it means we have now got the idea about the different types of the forest means all the forests are not of same type but all these forests they are of great utilization to the mankind because they are of great use they are you have learnt in the previous videos that is they are the source of food fruits and they provide shelter they are source of oxygen they are absorbing carbon dioxide but unfortunately these forest ecosystems they are being degraded with the passage of time by the human civilization due to various threats so main threats to the forest ecosystems are from the mankind or due to the human activities the developmental activities like construction of the Uh, roads railway lines they are leading to deforestation and the rapid population growth urbanization industrialization are leading to over utilization of the forest and forest products so forest cover is decreasing day by day in india scenario is not that good it has decreased from 33% to 11% in the previous years so this is leading to very serious consequences so it is bringing climate change global warming flash floods soil erosion frequent droughts so all these in points they lead to this conclusion that there is need to conserve the forest ecosystem there is need to grow more and more trees by means of afforestation reforestation social forestry urban forestry all these things has to be brought together to maintain the forest cover so it means forest ecosystem we have learned from this video we must conserve the forest ecosystem because of its utilization because of its value we must complete its components so that we can get rid of the basic problems of global warming climate change etc 
so students let us pledge we will save the forest ecosystem we will grow more and more trees we will do reforestation so that we can stop the global warming and the climate change i hope so you must have liked this video kindly share and subscribe and share with your friends thank you very much